stock market is a bit elevated. They're very, it's very rich. And so I don't think that this idea of this uh, uh, power put, I think there is a power put because the Federal Reserve has to be concerned about financial conditions broadly. Yeah. But I don't think we're anywhere close to the Federal Reserve. Remember what happened in February after the 12% drop yeah. in the stock market, yeah. Fed still raised interest rates, and the economy still grew 4.2% in Q2. Yeah, I just think they're going to have to be careful after those October 3rd comments from Jay Powell. I think people are still jittery. Hopefully, the next FOMC meeting with the press conference will get greater insight. I do want to ask you, uh, because you know consumer confidence is strong, uh, we know the labor market is super duper strong, but everyone's wondering about the housing market. It's obviously mm -hmm. under a fair amount of pressure here. What's going on there? Yeah, so I think a combination. I think you're, you're right. So one of these uh, sectors where I think would really demonstrate your point that the Federal Reserve is being a bit aggressive on interest rates because this is an interest rate sensitive sector. And almost every measure, uh, housing starts, new home sales, uh, permits, uh, uh, people who are apl mortgage applications, people who are signing up to buy a house, all these are multi-year lows, two to five-year lows. And I think we should expect some further weakness. How did that happen, though? Well, I think that partly we're nine years into the recovery of the housing market. The cost of housing has gone up, uh, the value of our house has gone up, and mortgage rates have gone up, so they're less affordable. So I think a, a, a squeezing some demand and a lot of supply has been coming online, and we have to make this adjustment. But this is part of the uh, these late uh, economic cycle behavior that's beginning to accumulate that I don't think is here quite yet, but I think it will be here in a, in a like palatable way by the middle of next year. So is there a way then, and circling back to... And so this is why I've been waiting to buy the real estate dip. And it's good that the Fox News is having to admit that the real estate market is cooling down. And I do hope that the price is correct because it's unaffordable. Um, the only way you can really get into a house is putting yourself in a massive amount of debt that doesn't make sense. Um, and in a way, I feel bad because, like I said, I'm a landlord. Rents have been just going up like crazy. Um, for my own rental properties, I started renting them for around 3000 to 3500 a month, and now I'm able to charge close to $5,000, so my rent went up uh, over, already over 50%, and it's on its way to increase 100%, and I purchased these properties in 2010 and 11, so let's just say seven to eight years. Uh, it's gone up that much. And like I said, uh, I, I love the profit. I love all the money that I'm making off of my real estate investments. But this is not good for the people. And uh, I do want housing to become more affordable. And uh, I'm looking to buy the dip. So uh, I do feel like the U.S. housing real estate market is going to slow down. And even internationally, it should cool down. So please, if you're thinking of buying, I would highly recommend waiting rent a little longer and increase your cash positions so that you can buy because if interest rates are higher you're not going to want to uh, leverage your properties like crazy and i am going in with a mindset that i have to put it down 25 percent to buy you know my future properties so let's just say you're looking at half a million dollar houses uh, with a good correction, it might go down to 400000 maybe if we're lucky, 300000 But you still have to put down 25%, especially if it's high interest rates. So just do the math. Uh, let's just say it's four hundred grand. That means you need to put down for 20%, $80,000. And if you want to do uh, 20, 25%, uh, it's going to be closer to $90,000. So uh, it's, it's a lot of cash, and I know it's going to probably be difficult. But uh, if you do want to take advantage of this real estate market, start saving. And um, if you're not unable to do that, you know, you can go with the lower uh, down payment loans. But just realize your monthly payments are going to be pretty steep and you're going to be giving a lot of interest to the banks. But that's your call. Uh, let me know what you guys think about this and I will talk to you soon.